Hey everyone! The stream is starting. Ooh, lots of people here today. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Thank you for coming. We are on the verge of the 11th Horde right now. Day 77. We still have yet to see a single radioactive zombie, so this might be an interesting horde. While y'all have been away, I've done a little bit of work on the base and on cleaning up around here and also upgrading some stuff. So we managed to get the uh, desert... Well, I guess it's called the Desert Vulture in this, but the Desert Eagle gun here. Uh, I swapped this in because I, I crafted one since we unlocked it last time. And... Uh, That'd be kind of fun to have one to play with. It has a silencer on it currently, as well as just like other random stuff that was on my SMG. Uh, or not SMG, um, I forget what the other weapon was I had. Shotgun, yes, on my shotgun. It actually is really cool. It uses magnum bullets and it's got a really crazy reload speed. I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to be playing around with that and have the SMG. I got an, uh, got a red dot sight for the SMG, and I set up the M60 finally, and I now have a scope for it. Oh shit, I forgot to turn things on. I need those. Get the guns on. There we go. I'm just going to turn down seven days a little bit for the horde specifically. I'm gonna make sure I don't get blindsided by any cops. Or vultures. That would suck too. Sounds like I'm an army with me, with the uh, SMG turrets. Also, we don't have them yet for this horde. But we do have extra blade traps at home now, from that blade trap pack we got. Last, last stream, I believe. So we have 10 more blade traps to place if we want to, and I probably do want to. They take a lot of power, but they're pretty awesome. Ooh, those are... So we le seem to be getting a lot more specials now. Uh, cause this right here is a white. And generally whites are pretty powerful, like, they're the strongest of all the specials. No, the Demolish is the strongest of all the specials. 
But we still haven't seen a Demolisher yet. For some reason. I should definitely try to kill all the whites I can, though, because they give extra XP. Oh, by the way, I didn't really have a chance to make bullets. So, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the M60 out of bullets. So... <laughs> we, uh, gotta be a bit careful. Even the turrets don't have enough bullets. The turrets are about half full right now with bullets. So, that's not amazing. It's only about 400 bullets for each. And that's not much for automatic weapons. There's a cop. So it looks like when it switched waves, it dropped the whites and swapped them over for dogs and cops. And the military zombies swapped for hazmat zombies, from the looks of it. So traditionally, you don't really get XP from your turrets and your traps and stuff. But I've started specking into intelligence, which gives you XP from the uh, things that your turrets kill. Specifically, into advanced engineering. So I get 30% of the XP of all the things that... Uh, my mechanical traps kill now. That's where all my points have been going. Yeah, the spiders are going splat, aren't they? <laughs> it's pretty nice. You'd think a climbing zombie would be more dangerous to me. But they're not. God, this is not a good long-range weapon. Fuck. Also, I ran out of time to do some of the repairs, so things like this wall are, like, two-thirds already destroyed. <laughs> Not ideal. Ah, ah. 
stupid buzzards! Ah! Uh. Acid! I'm gonna go out the other door. The one that's not covered in acid. Ow! Holy shit! That was a direct hit. Okay, despite... No, that wasn't a direct hit. I took way too little damage for that to have been direct. I got very lucky that that wasn't a direct hit. I try to get away from the edge so I don't fall off like I did the first few hordes. We had this base. <gasps> a radioactive zombie! The first one! The first horde with a radioactive! And it's dead. It's much more scary when they're all radioactive. But still... That's important. That's that marks like that's a milestone right there. I don't know what that was, and I don't like it. Wait, what? The, where are all those shots coming from? I don't see any cops. I'm confused. The only things that shoot that shoot that stuff are the testicle monsters and the cops. And when I say testicle monster, if you don't know what I mean, trust me, if they were here, you'd recognize them. They look like an anthropomorphized testicle. I don't know how else to describe it. I love this red dot. Good job, Punchy. Keep it up. I'm so happy I have armor-piercing bullets. They're really nice. What the fuck was that? Okay, I think the Tesco monsters are actually appearing. I think that's what's happening, and they're just getting killed by the, by the auto turrets before they can get near us. Because that's the only other thing that can shoot those projectiles, and I don't see cops. And they shoot them on death. If I see one, I will point it out. Fuck. That's not actually the right gun. Red T and support bites. Damage reduction. Oh, wait, we're. <laughs> the horde's over! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs>
I swear I hear something. Okay. Oh. Another horde down. Those away. That stuff back. Let's bring some of this. Hey. I don't really want to leave too much ammunition here, just because I want to know what is here. And it's easier if I just, like, bring the stuff I need when I need it. Yeah, I need to bring a bunch of supplies over here. I'm gonna need, uh... Okay, word base. We are going to need helps on rocks, some more cement mix, or some more wait cement or concrete mix, concrete mix, and iron spikes, steel ingots. I guess, well, ironing gets too. Okay, that well, should be enough to restock this base. Oh! Fuck ton of 9mm. Because our turrets are suffering right now. And I can't put the armor piercing 9mm into it. Yeah, this one's empty. This one has 67 bullets left in it. One is empty. This one is empty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not in a good spot in that sense. A battery off right now. I think we didn't take too much damage. We could potentially swap out all of the iron spikes now, though, if we want to go purely into uh, uh, blade traps, because we can put up to 18 blade traps without making any extras now, like down here. So, might be worth it. I have to figure out a configuration for that, though. I mean, I can make the platform bigger. I don't need to keep it this size. I can make a much, much bigger sea of spikes. I probably should, realistically. Maybe I can make a minefield, too. Anyways, well, this is, like, all really fun and dandy and stuff. Uh, there's something, actually, that I am way more excited for than this horde. That is designing the house. So I've done some work on it while uh, while we're off stream. Uh, oh, actually, I should probably explain something. Okay, it is 5.57 on day 78. Where? Okay. So, so that I could actually work on the house and have it set up for y'all, so like, to make it interesting, like, so that things actually get done between streams, uh, basically what happened is I stole time from after the horde. So, I, I moved the clock forward to skip the horde, and then I used 71 and a half hours in-game to build the house, and then I moved it back for the stream after doing, uh... Uh, yes, after doing, like, the repairs and stuff. So I'm now going to move the clock forward 71 and a half hours. Which would be... 6.30... 6.30, 5 5.30. 5.30, day 81. That time, 81, 5... Okay, so we just moved ahead seven, 70, 71 and a half hours. 
uh, just to compensate for what I used, because, like, I'm not trying to make the game easier by, like, stealing time or anything. But uh, I do want to make sure that I can make good content. And to do that, I really need to have time between streams to work. And we were, like, on the verge of the... Uh, we did not have enough time for me to do the work I wanted to do. So I'm probably going to be doing that in the future. Uh, I've not, not done it before at this point, and I will be straight up with you if I do it. Um, I'm not going to use it to make the game easier. I'm merely going to use it to make the content better. Meanwhile, let's get this package. And I cannot wait to take y'all over to, uh, to the house, because... I didn't design anything. All I did was I con I made things into concrete that we decided we were going to make into concrete. I basically put every plan that we had before into action. And I moved over some stuff from the uh, old base. Ooh, scrap armor bundle and crafting skills bundle. Shotguns, tactical warfare, handguns, medical. Yeah, I wouldn't want this game to be any easier or anything. Like, I, that's not fun for me. Because I tend to like challenge. <laughs> so, you don't ever, ever have to worry about that. Actually, maybe we should stop at the trader, seeing as we're not that far away. Yeah, we're right beside the trader. I have a couple things I can sell off quickly. Okay. What you have? Yeah. All that. Pawn parts. Don't need more of that. Don't need this. I have way too much steel tool parts now. More machete parts. Oh, fuck off you. Oh, wait. Hold on. 324 up into 712. Cool. Better. Nice little chunk of money. Well, you are. I might not be bad, but you definitely are. You are an asshole. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have? Hmm. A lot of good stuff. Uh, I'm always eyeing more turrets, because turrets are great. Okay, that's all stuff I sold. Yeah, I, I made a run here, actually, uh, off-stream, just to, like, sell, sh sell shit. Didn't really buy anything of interest. Uh, we actually have a fair bit of shotgun shells. I will buy the magnum, though. Magnum shells are very good. I could definitely use some more armor-piercing. Oh, I don't nearly have that much money. <laughs> 36. Here. I sell a paintbrush. Oh. 
My god, I hate this guy. I cannot wait to be- to, like, go to any other trader. Like, I know I shouldn't get mad at an NPC, but, like, fuck, he's an asshole. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but he's an asshole. Also. Which gun range is this? Ooh. Ooh, let's have some fun. With our new weapons. Oh, fuck, this M60 looks amazing. Is that clay? Maybe. Okay, time to cause a lot of trouble. <laughs> Hi! Ow, oh, fuck, you can get me! <laughs> I was laughing at them, I shouldn't have done that! I forgot they can stand on each other! No. Fuck off. Shit. Shit. I made light of them. That was my mistake. My hubris will kill me. Well, that was good XP. That was like well over 10,000. Oh, this thing is like a sniper rifle. I love it. Ah. Holy shit, he took two headshots and he is not dead. I guess he is a radioactive. Well, I missed that one. Yeah, I don't really care to loot everything here, because I know I'm going to put myself in danger if I do. But, oh my gosh, so much gasoline. Gas is good. Wait, has none of this respawned? Everything... Everything here is just empty. Oh, that's shit. No. You are not going... ...barf on me. Thank you very much. That's the front. Vehicle book? Nope. I can make an auto shotgun, you say? I would like that. That sounds positively amazing. Oh wait, I should put gas into this thing. Yeah, I have a little bit of gas now. Oh, a five skull here. Right, I remember the... I remember that being a thing. 
I guess... I thought the prison was a four skull, but I guess not. Uh, you missed the entire horde. I mean, that's fine. Because we're going to design now, and that's much funner. Or at least it is in my opinion. Yeah. We're going to stop off at the old house first. going to pick up some stuff. Because I am, like, I've only moved some stuff over. I haven't really had a chance to do too much. Because, I mean, I don't want to do too, too much off stream. I definitely want to do the, the bulk of the moving my inventory over off stream, though. Just because, like, that's literally just driving back and forth. Okay, we need ammunition. So that's probably what's going to come with me first. Support this stuff so I can better grab things. Okay. Ammunition. All this is coming with me. Oh, I have a bunch of crap in here. Oh, whatever. I can. Man. This house has been great to us. But it's kind of time to call it. Also, we have a fridge and a jack o' lantern, because why not? Okay. That's empty. Bring some food with me. I mainly moved like the workbenches and stuff over. I need to make a bunch of more workbenches though. Or wait, no. A bunch more forges? I need one more workbench, five more forges, five more bellows, five more anvils, and four more cement mixers. But I mean, you'll see it in a second. Also, time for jumps. Because the terrain here is great. <laughs> oh, I love that. Fortunately, it tends to not maintain its momentum. <laughs> ah, you can see the fortress already. For anyone who's not familiar yet... Yeah! For anyone who's not familiar yet, this is our floating fortress here. This is a 100% perfectly stable building, according to the game. So, I mean, with all these, like, thick structural blocks right here, you'd be... I, you'd be silly to think this isn't structurally sound. After all, this, uh... The, uh, structure system in this game is, is, is built to be as realistic as possible. Okay. So everything that we, like, planned out with frames is now been concreted as well as I added a roof. 
So, I moved over some more furnaces. They're already working. Uh, this was in Pudding's Iron. Oh, I don't have the Crucible here yet. This one is my Brass Furnace, which is great, because I'm so fucking out of bullet casings, it's terrible. And my Lead Furnace will go here, Second Iron Furnace will go here, then I'm going to have four Stone Furnaces in this area, and eight Cement Mixers. The idea. Ooh, we've already put 30,000 stone in. Give me some more cement. Ooh. So, this is the storage room here. First section, we have farming, natural resources, building blocks and supplies, stones and minerals, and concrete blocks and mix. With its workbench there. We have our medicine and buff items, our drinks and drinks crafting and complete, our food crafting complete, and its workbench. We have ammunition crafting, ammunition complete, mods of all types, weapons, guns, gathering tools, clothing items, then finally explosives, dyes and painting, automotive, trader, stuff I'm just going to sell, electrical and mechanical, and then miscellaneous. It's a little bit more than twice the size of our old storage room. Like, by capacity, I mean. Let's put things into the ammunition crafting. Since that's mainly what we have. The ammunition. Wait, now it's crafting. And I would actually like to have some bolts on me. And then food crafting. Uh, I think all the canned stuff is used to make other things. So I can put that in there. Chili's used to make stuff. Dog food's used to make stuff. Hairs are not, so that will go in with the finished stuff. Salmon is. These are. And pasta is. Okay. No, I have no liquid here. <laughs> hmm. That's not amazing. Anyways, uh, here's our kitchen. Over here, we have our all of our cupboards and our granite countertops. We also have our thing to note this is the kitchen that we made last stream. <laughs> uh, these aren't real cabinets themselves. Uh, these are painted blocks just because the cabinets themselves don't hold very much. But I do want to make a full kitchen here just because it looks cool. I've also been playing around the concept of seeing if I can take the uh, guts of the campfire code and mix it with the model of the oven and make a functional oven for us. Because if we could have, like, a row of functional ovens, then that would be amazing. And that would be much cooler than having campfires, because campfires look kind of stupid in, like, a nicely designed house. Also, I put up the, uh... I put up all the beams and stuff. Each of these are 2x2 are two two beams, because they're... Corner, they're corner poles, so they have fairly high stability. Oh, we have some potted plants as well. I want to note that. Those are very important. I'm going to go into the debug menu quickly. Let's look at stability. Yeah, definitely. So this is the stability of the area here. Uh, green is obviously perfect. Uh, yellow is totally fine. Uh, the deeper orange ones here are density 12, or no, sorry, stability 12. These are like the minimum that we want. We do not want anything that's less stable than 12. Um, ideally, I would try to keep it to 13, but we'll have to see how, how that actually ends up working out. Because 
I'll probably need to put in some more holes around this area just to make sure that we're more stable. Because fortunately, there's definitely some areas that are not stable. Not 100% stable, at least. But uh, as far as everything goes, the rest of the structure is stable. Okay. Ability off. Oh, wait. I have some stuff in here, too. Okay, that stays in here. All my stuff stays in there. Good. I need... Before I can actually properly live here, I need to put up my doors, because I don't have doors yet. Which is kind of a problem. Because, <laughs> like, we're not necessarily going to be in much danger, per se. But... I don't know. I don't want. To, I don't really want to tempt fate. <laughs> Seems like a bad plan. Radar items go in here. Automotive and shells go in here. So I still have these fences. They're, as you can see by the fact I can pick them up, they're not concrete yet. Uh, honestly, they're ugly. <laughs> so I want to make, like, real fences that are nice. I don't really know exactly what that will look like. But I want to make nice fences. Okay, so, building blocks. Give me some of these. I don't think I have ingot. Oh, God, I'm still not used to the storage system, so I think ingots would be in here. Yeah, I don't have any ingots yet here. I really want to uh, make those, those steel doors, because I'm going to make vault doors for these, so they're going to be next to fucking impenetrable. And I'm going to put windows here, because there's no point having doors if you don't have any windows. <laughs> okay, so we have a few different options. Uh, we always have these. Uh, they're okay. This one I did accidentally concrete. And I'm not keeping it, because it... I don't know. I like. I don't like it. Kind of regret putting it there. Okay, so a little bit out of the corner here, and I'm gonna see if we can get like any small corner things. Wait, I can make concrete windows? Oh, I forgot. I This game has clear concrete. Because that's a thing. I mean, like, these are wood. But... Let me take a look at this clear concrete. If I can... Get what I need. Okay, here. Uh, any wood. There. So these are clear concrete windows. Okay. Uh, definitely no glass. It's clear concrete. Um... I don't know who would suggest that this is glass. That's obviously silly. Uh, concrete is always clear. I don't know what you're talking about. On a side note, getting glass in this game is hard. 
Cool. So we actually have closed area now there. I guess there are oh there are other windows. I should have looked at the other windows too. Oh fuck, there's a lot of windows. Uh whoa. Oh. Oh, they, those are pre-broken windows. I don't want that. What the fuck? Oh, I left some stuff, uh, co um, cobbles and rocks. Those, like, the ones that like, look like bricks right now, those are the, this, I don't really like this, and I don't know what to do about it. Thing, so I didn't make them into, uh, concrete. Uh, as you might be able to see, these are, like, slightly rounded. Um, actually, let me rephrase what I said before. It's not that I don't like the way they look, it's that I don't know if I like the way they look. So this is like a rounded pillar. I'd love some feedback on whether y'all think that's decent, because, like, I could have just had, like, a completely flat pillar, but, I don't know, I kind of like this. So, I'm thinking of that. And then there's these weird fucking window things that we have. Uh, but, i just break that. We do have this, now that I have figured out that this is here. Which kind of looks awesome. Wait, can I... No, not that. On face? No. Advanced? Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Okay, that doesn't look as good on... Mm, well, I mean, not bad. I can still kind of walk up to it and look out. Oh, I should actually, like, finish this so that you can see what it would properly look like. Because what it would actually look like is this. Like, obviously different color, not wood, but... I actually really like that. Yeah. I'm glad you like it, because I like it as well. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so those are our solid concrete windows. There's no glass in these whatsoever. That reflectiveness is clear concrete. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what can we do for over here? I mean, we could just do, like, the full, full window thing. Eh. I don't know. Crown of column could be used as an interior chimney for a brick pizza oven for the kitchen. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I, s I I I think I think I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh let me let's pretend that some part of this is a oven. Uh I guess we'll make this the oven right here. Or pretend that's the oven. Uh, like you, we want like a decent range hood as well. If we're gonna do, I want to picture a pizza oven right now. Okay, that's that's not at all what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh wait, no, I should take out that. So there are, holy shit, there's 22 pages of options. Okay, well, we might as well start somewhere. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Oh. That's sad. But whatever, I'll put that right there for a second, just to... Oh, that's actually kind of cool on its own. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll ignore that for a second. Okay, let's try. Let's actually try what you're suggesting. I will get another jack o' lantern later. Is this what you meant, Pyro? Because I'm not sure I c I'm seeing what you were talking about now. <laughs> Bowls? No, not bowls. Well, yes, bowls, but not that type of pole. Something specific I'm looking for. Oh, that's definitely not what I'm looking for. What? Oh, okay, it's like metal y. Not metal. Thinking that if you needed a chimney for a fireplace, it would be a nice rounded corner column. You mean like. Kind of like this, like obviously not with the stripe, but like that kind of style. I'm just making this uglier. I want a less extreme corner. That might help. This. Is this what I was thinking of earlier? No, it's not. Oh, we're into like a lot of the broken stuff now. Oh no, here are tables. Okay, this might be a decent section. Oh, and DOS grates. Cool, I might need those. Oh, and there's lots of bookcases and stuff too. I can make a graveyard. <laughs> hmm. Struggling to find what I'm actually like looking for this oh okay i should just ignore all the stuff that's destroyed on it because it's going to be like really weird looking oh uh. 
not seeing what I'm really looking for. Okay. Come here for a second. Uh, oh, I need paintbrush. It's not going there, that's just a spot to try that. Okay, so the ring persists. That's actually what I was hoping for. So I could use that as, like, an oven top. I also have, like, actual... Oh! Is that cabinet counter range? Wait, wait. Why can't I turn it? <laughs> no. Turn it. I'll make it only face one direction. That would be stupid. Well, I can make a dishwasher. That helps. <laughs> this, oh, this one is basically the opposite of that. That actually might be more of what I'm looking for. That for a second. A wall oven. Oh, I don't want the sides like that. <laughs> I don't want to duplicate the sides. Don't like that for a second. That's a weird looking top. What the fuck? Wait, what? It copies the front texture onto the top. Okay. That's really weird. And definitely exploitable. Which is great, because I can probably use that for something. So let's try it this way. So, okay, so that's not the front. Not the proper front. So if I do this, this will color in the, the circle. Did. Oh, that's weird. Okay. First of all. Oh, that maybe. Oh, whoa. I feel like I made a sink. Not really what I meant to do, but I feel like I made a sink. I didn't need to... Wait. One second, I can clear that and just... It clears the back! What? Like that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it really did. This might actually be great as like like a modern um it's kinda of like a modern oven now. It it's still a bit weird, but like Black Granite the one I've been using? Yes, that is. Not that. Oh. That kind of works. A very big, like, spot to put a pot.
So here's what I'm wondering. Oh, uh, I don't have an axe with me. Oh, I had the foresight to make this only wood. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, so. Make that wood again. No, I wanted that. That. Actually, I guess not ex... I think this is opposite what it should be. I think that was what I had. And then I kind of have this as a range hood. Kind of cool. There must be a corner pole I can use for the rest of a range hood. Oh, that's centered. Not the non-centered one. Maybe one quarter. This is the right one. There we go. That's what would make it a range hood. Then... I would need some sort of... Um, Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Not that. Need some sort of something. Make it look metal-y. Oh, that's corrugated metal. That looks awful. Metal taupe. Look bad. I don't know if I like it, but it doesn't look bad per se. That actually looks a lot better now. I like that a lot more. It does match now, but this is, this is very pointy, is the problem. I don't know if I like pointy. By the way, I, di I did see what you sent me, Pyro. I'm not 100% sure how to make that, but it is potentially possible, I think. Actually, this might not be such a bad spot to make it either. Now I have a visual aid. I of this for a large pizza oven. I mean, it's a very blocky version. I'd want it to be like a lot more stick than that. See what other things I could pull out besides just the cube corner beveled. What happens if I just type the word corner? Three meter tunnel inside. Oh.
What goes with this? That kind of. Wait, if I type tunnel in. Actually, I think it would be this. Yeah. Like that, and then I'd need a half block. I think. What's this? Ooh. Okay, hold on. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, perfect. That is almost right. There! That's... I think that's kind of what you were talking about, kind of. A lot of kind is in that, but I think it's kind of what you were talking about. <laughs> I have to take the... Like, keep in mind, I probably would take the windows out from behind that. Uh, those windows are just... Hold on. Okay, let me just make this back into... Lock. Second. Oh. oh, fine. Wow, that was a terrible jump. Do that temporarily. Okay. That almost hurt me. Like a notable amount. Falling blocks are like hurt a lot in this game. Okay. I don't like how much these stick out, unfortunately. I want these to be less like salt like what am I trying to say? I want Things slightly different. I'm not really sure how to make that work. Wait. Oh. Why does this look like a pair of thighs? Like a waist and thighs. This is truly strange. Let's do that for a second so I can paint it. Uh oh god, what should I paint it? Um Oh actually that should be fairly easy because I can do this. Since it's meant to be like a stone brick, like a like a brick pizza oven. I would not want to do the brickwork for this. <laughs> How's this, Spyro? Yeah, yeah. No. 
No, there is not an in-game pizza recipe. I do wish there was, but there is not. Ramp Incline Filler. A smaller if I could make it. Gotta be a disc shape somewhere. Just like a disc plate. Yeah, that that's actually what I'm thinking right now. I'm between that and Is it a porthole? I think I found portholes. Wait a minute. Hey, this is cool in its own way. It's like the door to the pizza oven. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. So usually you can, like, stick your hand in a pizza oven, so... Doesn't really fit, but... You know... When you say color it silver, what do you mean? Like color which part of the silver? Wait. Right, I can do that. Oops, it's on everything, isn't it? Single side. It does, doesn't it? It really does look like the front of a washer dryer. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Look at this. Uh, when I have it right. Yes. Look at that. It looks really good. Is there like... I want to find like a burn texture if I can. Okay. This is really starting to look like a good kitchen now. I want to make this more better preparation air. Maybe I can do that. And add more countertop there. 
instead. And make this more a preparation area. By... No, not this. By adding some sort of... Shelf. But where am I going to find a shelf? <laughs> so many things in here. Hey. This naturally looks like a range hood. That's cool. Yeah, because I, I think it would probably be beneficial to have, like, a normal rate, like a normal oven as well as a pizza oven. Anyways. This is where, like, the cupboards and stuff are. Now. Huh. Same block you use for the sink slash oven can replace the center block where the pizza would sit. Sink slash oven. Color the circle slash back is silver. Outside the circle is burnt and brick. Okay. I think I get what you're saying. No, no, I, th I think I do get it. Color of the circle slash back is silk. Okay, so... Metal white, maybe? No, that'd be the circle. Outside the circle is burnt. This, I think. The rest of it is brick. Huh. I mean, but it, that does look pretty good. I'm not 100% sure about, like, my choices of paint, but I do like the idea. Thank you. That was a good idea. Let me see if I can find a better burnt texture, though. Wait, burnt wood paneling. That's very that's very obviously wood. I don't want wood. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, that that's right. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Look at that though. Looks really cool. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to remove the kitch. Ah. Man, this is really cool. I appreciate y'all coming and help coming out and helping me today. Cuz I definitely wouldn't have thought of all this on my own. Really nice crowdsource ideas. Oh, wrong thing. And it. Wait, no, that's not the right thing. That's what I meant to hit. No, 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 not that. Oh, that kind of looks cute, because it's like kind of a clay oven, not a clay. Okay, let's try this, though. Oh, fuck. No, why did I make this concrete? Nope, I did not mean to make that all of some rocks. I will get to what you said in a second, Pyro. I want to, want to finish this idea before it leaves my brain. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's interesting, for sure. Last touch, I would say, is to add a bit of lip to the front of the oven window, but I'm not sure that the game has compatible blocks for that. Oh, I definitely... I can, I'm can. i sure I can find something. This game has a lot of blocks now, so... This is too thick, I think. Yeah, it's probably going to be too thick, but let's just think of comparison. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually not too thick. I don't think, at least. It's just standard pull. Pull half. Pull corner. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, so good. <laughs> Oops. Oh, whatever. Right. Ooh. Okay, this... Okay, hold on. I have to take a screenshot of this, because this is just too amazing. Oh, this looks so good. This makes me happy. You know, at some point, I need to actually, like, make an area to cook food. <laughs> and I still, I don't know if I can actually do the whole, um... I don't know if I can do what I've been intending to do yet. Like with like with the oven, so hold on. Let's first of all I want to try something. Couple torches. I was wondering if there's some way to like stick a torch inside this somehow, but I don't think so. Because there's a lot of the a lot of the blocks the block spaces are all taken up. Like this is um everything in this quadrant is like solid blocks, according to the game. Because, you know. Game. All that. A bit silly. No. I like the warmth that the torches give off. Okay, I definitely don't... That's not the right button. Definitely don't like this. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> not enough to shoot it. Oh, wait, I didn't need to copy the rotation. Oh, damn it. No, not, not that.
Nope, not. Not paint all sides, please. So we can be sure that we actually can have uh, ovens. We're going to need campfires. Because what I was talking about coding, like I don't know if I can actually do that. Cool. So this will be where I can actually cook things. Like, like how the game wants me to. <laughs> Okay. So, need five cooking grills, five cooking pots. Oh, and actually, while I'm at it, five anvils. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have no iron for that. Well, whatever. I need nineteen minutes. Why do you have to be facing that way? They wait, they're all gonna be facing that way, aren't they? Ah, uh, fluff. That should be right. Yes, that's what I'm looking for, okay. Up your rotation. Up your rotation. Rotation. Up your rotation. Well, I have a chance. That in there. So I can get enough stuff to craft some more anvils. I definitely do wish I could have, like, some less medieval options cooking here, but there aren't any in the game yet. But this is where I'll cook things. Okay, so this is what it looks like when they're all on. Envious of those cast iron pots, I want one so bad, but they're a fortune these days for a good one. Yeah, I've heard cast iron stuff can be pretty rough. 
Oh, that metal spoon would be very hot. <laughs> I'm wondering about putting some form of range hood up here above all of them. I don't know if it'll look good, but maybe. I'm thinking a great texture. Like G R A T. I want a dark metal. Technically, this is metal. What about putting some right here, actually? I feel like the embers can fold down into it or something. It's looking better. Not like it's missing, but it's looking better. I'm on okay, good. I'm only on paint only one side. I don't want to use I don't want to waste too much paint. Okay, here's what I want to do. I don't want to do something like this. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Not exactly. I want something deeper. If that makes any sense. Yes, maybe. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Not what I meant to do. I want this. Oh. 
No, not that. Advanced rotation. I need to go outside for this, unfortunately. I'm out of wood. Weird. I do kind of feel like this has become a building stream, but like, this is some of the most fun that if there is in the game, is like, being able to build this shit, so... I don't know, I, I feel... I'm sure y'all can appreciate why this is cool. what I'm trying to get to. It's actually not bad. What I'm trying to do. Probably not what I'll settle with, but it's something. Wait. Shit, I don't remember what extra I was using. Darn it. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is paint all sides first. Then, up to shutter, off paint all sides. I don't know if shutter is what I want ultimately, but something. If I can change the window panes in, 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 independently, that's the one I'm looking for. And here's the window panes in, independently. Why, yes, I would love black windows. I'm a designer, so this is kind of like my jam. I can make the entire thing. Ooh. I, mean, I still don't know why I'm going to make the outside of the building. But... Actually, hold on. No, nope, wrong button. Nope, not that one. I think it's this one that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Wait, what? No. Goes up for now.
Okay, look at that. It's a little bit off center as far as like the outside goes, but like that's kind of cool looking. It's like an almond. Hey, this is starting to look good. Something's still missing, but maybe this help. Having some extra cupboards up there. Yeah, that looks good. I'll use that. <laughs> there. Okay. Hate having the pillar here, but like I need it for structural stability, so if you don't want the house to fall, I need to do that. If I this, I can take a proper pick. Yeah. Like one of those clear concrete pillars. Uh is that possible? <laughs> Like, that's a silly idea. But it might be possible. <laughs> hmm. this vertical blinds top rail only that's very thin oh i'm surprised that people actually make stuff off center intentionally i mean whatever works That is such a flimsy looking stick. This looks like a really stupid flimsy stick. What? Why did it become... A bit of curiosity. Okay, so this stupid flimsy stick right here... Like, fixes a whole slew of stability problems. Wow, that's really silly. Okay, so that's fun and all. Um, I can make bowling pins? That's a perfect use of my time. Oh, they're two by two as well. Second, can I make structural bowling pins? 
Oh, that's a little bit off. This is not important what I'm doing. But I'm greatly enjoying it. <laughs> Hold on, let me I need to I need to like build a stand on something. This Okay. Copy shape. No. Why can't you place there? Okay, so I have a stack of bowling pins now. And this stack of bowling pins gr makes this greatly more stable. This this makes my building more stable by having this here. What the fuck is wrong with this game? This is quite literally stability at its finest. That's that's stupid. Cause it doesn't matter what shape it is, like, they're all considered the exact same thing. Exclamation. My pile of exclamation marks also makes this more stable. Yep. <laughs> That's just so stupid. <laughs> oh, I should do this window too. I'll have a chance. Because it looks cool. I want the rest of the building to look cool as well. Holy shit, we've been going two hours? Well, fuck. <laughs> Apparently, I enjoy this. <laughs> okay, so I need these. No. These. You. <laughs> I'm confident I like this. All oh, those look so nice now. So this is what I meant really, really, really early game when I was like, yeah, so eventually the night stopped really meaning much. Yeah, no, it's at like almost 1 a.m. in game. It's spooky and scary outside, but I mean, I'm stacking bowling pins. So, <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter what it's like outside. Ooh, I should actually, like, color the ladders, too. Oh, you can color the rungs separately! Oh my gosh, I'm in love. No, not base concrete. Oh god, that's really bright now! <laughs> that's also not what I meant to do. But again. Okay, that looks silly, but also kind of cool. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I can make green like the pod plant. It's kind of like the pot plant. No. That. 
Oh, then I have, like, camo ladder. I don't want camo ladder. Okay, this is cool. Because, like, now I can just... Okay, so, like, the bars are slightly darker than the uh, rails. That's cool. No, it's not the right one. This one that I like. Ah, oh, this makes me happy. And I'm going to take black color. I'm going to make black windows. Why not? I like black windows. Paint both in all sides of that. Those definitely get seen. Back to painting single sides. I won't spend too much time on like large scale painting cuz like I can just do that off stream. I'll can just come back and it'll be magically done by the power of editing. I just want enough that I can like see what it's going to look like. You can see what's going to look like. And I'll see what's going to look like and we can all be happy. I want the rail color now. And I want that color. Is this the same as this? No, it's different. What if I use this color? Whatever this color is. That looks almost the same, but slightly better, I think. Use that. Hard to paint just the bars. Zombies. Who? Zombies. Not really. Okay, we're good. Paint the bars then. Oh, I'm characters dehydrated. It's not actually good because I don't have any water over here <laughs> at this house. I'll have to fix that. No. No. The bad. No. <laughs> Struggle's real. Maybe it's just, these are just nicer as pure. Kind of nicer as pure black, I think. Okay, have a good day, hon. No, not that! Fluff.
Ooh, I like that. Like pure black bars. I like that better than the other one, I think. Making sure nothing's sneaking up on me. There's nothing even spawned at all. Weird. Is one of those half blocks you made? No. Because these are full blocks. Like the gate like they don't they don't look like full blocks, but this is a solid space as far as the game is concerned. Also, it's not like Minecraft rules, like they're supposed to spawn far enough away that you can't see them spawn at all. I think it's just a pillar. Like I just want I want something to fill this gap right here, and I know there's things that can fill this gap. Find it. Fence. Okay, these aren't fences, are they? What are these? They're bars. Okay. Bar. No. Why no find? Unless it's different. Something, something really, really fucking tiny. Trim, maybe? Maybe this type of trim that would work. Because I need like one sixteenth trim or something for this. Door trim one M. Door trim half M. No, that's still too thick. I need quarter M. No, okay, no, because that's uh, that's the height. Okay. So, door trim... Oh, door trim 1M actually works decently well. I would like to find something a bit thinner than 1M. Or wind window trim, maybe? Window trim is thicker. I don't want that. No, not... Damn it. <laughs> Back there. Center. Diagonal. Half double trim top two M. Oh, two meters. Okay, so it's two blocks tall. That's what that means. Okay, okay, now I understand. I would. Okay, I think the door trim one meter is right. Based on looking at it. Like, it's. A bit bigger, but like, I don't think it's bad necessarily. What about if I put a trim right there? 
S. Oh, bars. Bars, bars, bars. Bars. Oh, that caps the corners off so well. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. I didn't even know it, but this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Oh, that's a bit ugly. But let's just pretend we don't notice that. Up there. One here, too. Okay. For now, I'm just going to make them cobblestone rocks. If I see a reason, I might make them into concrete later. With cobblestone rocks, I can still break in two strikes. Fuck. And I can paint these now. Put a plant in that little corner, maybe where the bars end. You mean here? I assume you're talking about right here. But, um, I can't put anything in this spot, unfortunately, at all, because this is a solid block as far as the game thinks. Like, all of this is solid, fortunately. But... Yeah. As far as the game's concerned, this and this are the exact same shape. And take up the exact same amount of area. Um... Actually, actually, I can make that work. Hold on. No, I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm actually gonna go with that idea because I have an idea how to make that work. I have to. I mean, this is why I made this up cobblestone rocks to begin with. Okay, so no, not that. Take this. Copy shape. Uh, I want this to be the outside now. That goes there, and then I need a hole in the corner there. So now this does not take up a block space. This now takes up three block spaces instead of one, but they're all exterior, and I won't use those block spaces for anything. Now. Perfect. It looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna do it on the other side too. I like that. I like this idea. Thank you. Appreciate the suggestions, cause I mean, I'm only one person, so it's always always good to see what other people are seeing too. Keep them coming, cause then y'all can give me great suggestions, and I can take all the credit for it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect system. I'm definitely a great designer and concrete and creator. <laughs> totally my idea to make a pizza oven. Totally. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I do need to get more paint, though, out. Any more in my chest? Please tell me. Oh, god, I have lots more. Okay. I'll leave one in there. Stacking purposes. God, th we've we've made this place so much nicer over the past couple hours. Oh, okay. 
I will paint... Okay, I'm going to paint the, uh, the fence. But before I do that really quickly... Curious. Oh, I did not mean to do the entire thing. Uh... Right, I'm still on paint surface. <laughs> um... Well... Uh... What do y'all think of the, uh, checkerboard floor? <laughs> That apparently is now the entire floor. I actually don't hate it. That is actually kind of nice. <laughs> totally accidental. But I was just going to do like a little bit for the kitchen, but like this is actually pretty cool. Yep, it did the outside. So uh, the paint surface feature, basically like any connected surface that's also the same texture, so like everything that's concrete that is on like this top block here, uh, gets painted, is how it works. So if I were to go down here, for example, and paint surface with the brick texture, everything. And here. Brick! All the brick. 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 This is too entertaining to me. But why contain it when can do less work? <laughs> no, I mean, that is fair. Oh, I've already used a thousand paint. Be careful. <laughs> Rooftop bar slash table slash lounge chairs, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's a good idea. Uh, the only thing I, I, like, I have planned so far to put up on the roof is the uh, Drippy Meisters and... I can't jump on these. Uh, is the Drippy Meisters and the farm. Which isn't to say that I can't do it, just that I don't have any plans yet, so I can. That's what I mean. No, it's it's okay. You you don't have to apologize. Um, I I'm just being weird. Just like what? Why? Why would we contain the kitchen floor to the kitchen? That doesn't make sense, kind of thing. Like like I'm just I'm being weird. I I appreciate the the suggestion. So this is currently the roof. I don't think I've actually brought y'all up here yet. Uh, I made the storage room a different height, because I kind of like the juxtaposition. 
Uh, and honestly, like, I could make the farms a lot of, like, this other area, and then put, like, a nice little, re like, loungy relax area up here. That could totally work. Also, my character needs to eat so badly. <laughs> Flooring does give it that welcome to the Twilight Zone feel. Um. So, like, I don't really want that sort of feel. <laughs> Ugh. I'll. I, I'll. I, I'll need to think about how to figure that one out. I definitely do not want the outside to be it, that's for sure. That's, that's just purely an accident. Okay, there we go. That's me filled up on water. Okay. Kind of cool looking. I don't want it, but that's kind of cool looking. Cool. That's the roof. And I can always, like, redo these balls that I'm doing right now with, like, something specific to the area, but I'm starting with this. I do really like the curved pillars, actually. That's kind of... Yeah, this is really starting to come together. Oh my gosh. Like, this looks so much nicer than earlier. Before the stream. Uh, do this. Take some pictures now. Clean. Pictures are good. All things considered. Because, like, you never know, like, it's easy to forget to take pictures of stuff like this in games. And then, like, two years later, you're like, oh, I made that really awesome build. I wish I took a picture of it. There we go. I'll just take some quick pictures. Okay. So, Paint Roller does a 5x5, five five, I think? No. 4x4? Four four? Blocks is that. Oh, yeah, so it does a 4x4. Four four. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, okay, I'm definitely not doing that. That looks awful. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what to do for the floor here. Oh, the old reinforced concrete texture. <laughs> That's nostalgic. Uh, 
Unfortunately, painting is something they have not really updated since they added it to the game. So our actual like our options for painting are pretty limited. But Oh god, that's so bright. <laughs> no, I don't want bright. Too bright. That looks awful. Make an absolute mess. At least this one isn't, like, brighter than the sun. A good start. I can always change it later. And then... Grab this color. Paint all sides. Carefully do the railing. Okay. Ooh, that's okay. That's starting to look really fucking good in my opinion. Like maybe it's just me, but I really like that. However, there's something something else I might be able to do with. It. Not sure if I can do it yet, exactly. It might not be this particular ops that I'm picking right now, but like I can also add, uh, like I can make these stand out a bit more, potentially. That might look good, or might actually look make this look much more not amazing. Uh, not that it's very easy to even see. Okay, conversely, conversely, don't do these ones. I just do the ones on either side of the, of the ladder. Yeah, okay. That's just the ones on either side of the ladder now. I think it actually looks really nice. Do it that way. Oh, I didn't do the windows yet. Did the window. Oh, I didn't even place the windows yet for this one. <laughs> Here, let me just copy it. Easy method. There we go. There. There we go. Nice. You know, I still need to get a fucking door at some point. That'd be nice too. <laughs> oh. I'll need to bring all the stuff over. That's like the main problem is I don't have any stuff here. Okay. I'll keep the panel sides on for this. I'll grab this color here. Or, wait, I didn't have the panel sides on. I'll grab that. No. 
grab this color. I need to do the panel sides. It'll look better if I do it that way. Okay. Now I grab this color. What do you mean I'm wet? How? I mean, I enjoy designing, but not that much. Is it supposed to be raining outside? Oh, apparently it's raining outside. Okay. Oh, fuck. Gotta turn all sides off. More time. Eh. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that, oh, that looks so good. I'm so happy with that. Nice. I don't know what I'm going to do for lighting. I, I have literally one lantern in here and my headlamp, and that's it. <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. Actually... I have a second. I cook the murky water I have. Okay. Actually, whatever. I'll just all of it in one. That works. I don't need to use every single furnace at once. You know, eventually we're going to actually get some screamers at some point. I don't really look forward to that point, but we will eventually. Surface. Alright, paintbrush. Do the normal stuff now. Do the edging. Everyone likes doing it. Okay, got that. I'll have to check the edging over the other side, probably. Okay, yeah, I've missed this entire section. Oh, yeah, edging here. Oh, cool. God, this is starting to look really fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, like, this looks kind of like the resort houses they, they have in this game in places. Where it's like, it just looks fucking amazing. Wow, I burned... I have 3,600 of 5,000 paint left. I used a lot. Okay, let's look at the other floors, though. Now floor white.
that. That. I like that the paint surface is kind of like the magic paintbrush, or like like any like magic eraser or magic wand tools in like photo editing software or design software. Basically, how it functions. Now, can I paint surface without it affecting stuff behind me? Yes. Cool. I paint brush. I cut off this edge here. Okay, what about this? I've segregated the uh, kitchen from the rest of the house now. And the rest of the house now has a different texture. Heck, I could even do like each room in its own it's in its own texture kind of thing. I actually really like this this tile, I should say. Tile industrial. This. Don't really like that. Uh. Tile floor. Other tile floor. this having it having this being like the the tile but darker actually kind of makes sense seeing as this is uh this is like the forge room where like everything's gonna get like sooty and messy And now I'm starting to have quadrants. Brick pavers. Oops. I mean, that looks cool, but that's not what I meant to do. Uh. Wait, actually, you know what? That might have worked out. Now I can do this and make just the storage room. Okay, now if paint service works the way I think it will, it's just going to do the stuff in in the the square and not outside of it. Yes, okay, it does. Okay, this is kind of weird. Also interesting. No, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, okay. Please tell me this will work. Nope. Oh, fuck, I keep doing the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to take off the paint surface tool. I don't trust myself with it anymore. <laughs> it's just not going well. Okay, well, I'm actually, I'm not going to trust myself again with it. 
Yes, okay, because I do know how that one works. Okay. And this looks weird. Okay, take take off paint surface. Why this? Having this not this be a half block is does help with like having more room in here, but conversely, it also causes problems because of the way I've painted the house. Because currently, each paint strip is three wide. If I make this a full block, that might actually suit it better, and then I can put the land claim block right in the middle. Because, like, it makes more sense with painting, because then, like, I have a plus sign painted into the floor, which is nice, in my opinion. Okay. Well, this is what it looks like before I fuck with it. Now I'm going to fuck with it. Wish this wasn't concrete. Okay, big boom sound. Oh, it's active. There we go. No longer active. Craft a lamp clan block. No, not paint surface. <laughs> paint all sides, not paint surface. Oh god, it's paint surface and paint all sides on now. No. <laughs> no, that's bad. Not what I want. Neither is that. There. Now my lane claim block is in a good spot. Oh, I so badly need doors. Okay, we're coming up on the three hour mark. So I think I'm going to end the stream early. Really quick. Uh, no, I need to. I need to break this no matter what I do because I have to take this texture here on the back. Now I can just fix this. Maybe this would look better as, like, the same stone that I'm putting everywhere else. Actually looks pretty good, like that. Anyways, I'll do with that later. Okay, I think I'm going to end the stream now, because uh, I've been going for almost three hours. And 
Well, I've been going for almost three hours. <laughs> a lot of design for one day. There are zombies outside. Uh, is there a wandering horde? I think there's a wandering horde. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, I don't really have a good vantage point to shoot them with because, or at, because the way my base is designed. But also, they can't damage me or my base while I'm here. I think at least. No, I hear it hitting something. Wait, she can hit things? Also, she can't tell I'm here for some reason. Uh, I guess this is what stealth, like full stealth, is. Oh no, she can tell I'm here now. I guess I just have very good stealth. Yeah, Wandering Horde. One of those was a deer. That's okay. It also gives me XP. My dear, you douche. Douche waffle. Makes me it makes you harder to hit. Good. Now he's dead. Dropped loot. Funny helmet, nice. And gun magazine. Oh my gosh, I get distracted so easily. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to focus on getting stuff back like from one base to another. And that'll be the main thing that I'll be working on off stream. Uh, technically, in an hour game time, we will be having yet another horde. Which is great and all that. Uh, which will be the 12th Horde, and I have prepared in no way for that. <sighs> oh well. I'll, I'll have to work on that, I guess. Okay. So to everyone who is here and has been here, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for coming out. And I hope you enjoyed the kind of weird stream that we've had. Uh, Usually I don't spend three hours building, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. This this is, like, part of the game that I really, really enjoy, and I've never really had a good chance to get into. So I'm happy to have this chance now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have some more. I had some a Path of Exile video come out today. My, like, first, like, real one of the League. Um, like, first, like, bossing video, I mean. Uh, I'm hoping to have some more path content come out soon. Uh, I do intend to keep working on Vampire Survivors. That's another one. And I'm going to keep working on this. Uh, I'm in the process of setting up my Patreon. Uh, I'm building up some... Uh, I'm going to be having exclusive content on Patreon once I have that set up. Uh, just some stuff that either doesn't fit on YouTube or cannot be put on YouTube. You know, that type of thing. Okay! Thank you all for watching, and have a great night.